ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dragon High School's Beaudry Field, where the Dragon Middies host the Pentucket Panthers. Entering the field are the Dracut Middies. This year looks like they're they're uh, mirroring the Sh Michigan State, yeah, Michigan Wolverines with their helmets, with lines across the top. We're waiting for Jerome McKenzie's entrance onto the field. Dracut once again has a very small squad, the Division Four this year, and in the Merrimack Valley Conference, the only other Division Four school is Chelmsford High School. The, both the Middies and the Panthers enter today 0-1. The Middies having lost to the Westwood Academy Gray Ghosts in their opening high home game last weekend. Meanwhile, the Pentucky Panthers lost to Watertown at Watertown. This evening's game is being played under the rules of the MIAA. For the Middies, the captains are number one, Andre Boras. Number 51, Manuel Ferreira, uh, Manuel Farley. And number eight, that is Ishmael Zouawi. For us and Manuel Farley are both juniors, while Ishmael Zouawi is a senior. The captain shake hands at midfield. The referee shows them the coin, heads and tails. And we have a low flip. The middies appear to have won the toss. And are pointing at the high school side of the field to defend. They deferred and the Pentucket Panthers will take the opening kickoff. In this MIAA contest, we'll have four 12-minute quarters. This is the second year in a row that the Panthers have come to Beaudry Field to face your middies. Last year, Pentucket beat the Dracut middies. So there is some sense of revenge or evening out this series.
and we're back. That was the Drake Mini's marching band under the direction of Zachary Cooper. Back deep for the Panthers are number 20, Nick Carrion. Looks like number 21, Johnny Egoy. And on the far side of the field, number 11, Luke Zavosky. Kicking off for the middies. Is a left footed kicker, number 10. Isaac Ferris. No, it's number 20. Am I correct? Eddie Jenkins. Ball's down. It gets by the kickoff. It's down inside the 10. He picks it up. He moves over to the right hand side. Middies are chasing. He gets around the corner where he's met at the 24 yard line. By Mini number six, Robert Truong. Number 10 is the quarterback for Isaac. Uh, yeah, right. Number 10, Caleb Meisner is the quarterback for the Panthers. Number 12 is Kevin Ryder. A junior wideout is wide to the near side, trip, trips to the left. And it's a quick handoff up the middle. He gets past the 24 to about the 26, where he is met by number two, Israel De Jesus. Well, maybe that's number six, Roa Truong. So it's second down and eight from the 26, 11.31 and counting on the clock. This time we have twins right and twins left for the Panthers with number 10, Caleb Meisner at quarterback. And he's met at the line of scrimmage for no gain by number two. Israel De Jesus. <laughs> Maybe showing some stoutness in the middle of that line. Number 77 is not listed on this roster. Maybe that's number 72. Drew Richardson, a junior, anchoring that offense, a defensive line. A 43 base for the Middies, 4-3. Five. Meisner in the shotgun. He steps back. He looks to his left. He hits it out wide. Number one makes the tackle. Andre Boras for a loss. Looks to be about back at the 27 yard line. Oh no. Correction, it's the 22 yard line. And now we've got a punt situation. The ball is away. It's a low kick. Met at midfield where it's fair caught by the Middies. That looks to be number 15, Nick Greer, a senior wide receiver in safety. It is coming out. Number eight appears to be your quarter quarterback, Ishmael Zawawi. Do we have a little spread action going today? We'll soon find out. Number 11, Samuel Ndeglia is coming out wide to your left. Single, up, oh, changing the formation a little. 11 comes in tight to play a tight end, split end position. You got multiple in the back, they're gonna run a spread. And it's straight up the middle for a gain of about nine by the middies. That was the number 42, yeah, it's out to the 42 yard line. So it was a gain of nine. Looked to be number eight. Ishmael Zawawi with Carroll. Carry, not the Carroll. And now we got a stacked backfield again. Looks a little wing tee, it's a high snap. He gets taken, oh no, he didn't get taken for a loss. Yes, he does. He almost wiggled out of that. Number 51. 
Braden Irvine with the tackle and the stop. Bad snap by the middies, that was high. He had no chance to do anything moving forward. Almost gave it up, so they're back to the 47 yard line. Loss of six, so now it's third and seven for the middies. Coach McKenzie is standing at the 39, no, 44 yard line, calling a play for the middies. Again, stack backfield, he fumbles it again. The ball is loose, recovered by number 52 of the, the Panthers. That was Nick Almeida. Not a good series for the middies. They looked good on the on first down, second, third. It all went backwards. So the middies have given up tremendous field position. Ball's now at the 48 yard line. That was a loss of about five on the play. Middies have to square away that uh, snap. Number five for the middies, Emmett Collins is a late addition as we've got wide receivers, trips to the left, single wide receiver right. Shotgun formation, swing pass out to the outside where he's caught at the line of, behind the line of scrimmage, but he makes it up and back to the line of scrimmage. The Panthers running back on that play appears to be, I think, number 21. That is uh, Johnny Ngawi. Second and 10 from the 48 for the Panthers. Looks like we have trips coming to the right. Single number 13 to the left. Aaron Ketchke is the single to the left. Single back set. High shotgun formation. He rolls out right. He looks. He throws it over the middle where it's batted away from number 10. No, number 20. Nick Carrion, number 11 on the coverage. Sam Indeglia. Nice play by Indeglia. Maybe could have called for pass interference because he looked like he was there early. Number 87, Connor Anello gets some coaching from the sideline as he jogs back to the center of the field. And we're coming up with trips to the right again, a little more spread this time. Single back set, shotgun formation, single receiver left. Panthers take the snap, he looks, he's under pressure. A little dump down pass. He cuts it back, but he's met by a couple of minis in the middle. That's number 77, per player unknown. He's not on the roster. So they stop him short. He's at the 43 yard line. Needs to get to the 38, so it's a gain of five, which brings you to fourth and five, and they're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Not much trust in their punter or not much trust that the middies can stop them. And we get a false start, perhaps, or an offsides. And offsides on the middies, that'll get them a measurement at the very least. Yep, he's gonna be just past that line. So he gets the first now by a half a yard. So it's first and 10, 6.58 to go in the ball game in the first quarter here for the Middies. And twins right and left for Kentucky. And it's a straight handoff. Number 77 and number one, Andre Boras. And I gotta believe that's Drew Richardson. I think Drew Richardson is not wearing 72, but 77. Met in the backfield. Oh, there is a 72 on the sidelines, though. So second and 14 for the Panthers at the Middies 47-yard line. And we go twin receivers right and left again. Single back set in the shotgun for number 11, Luke Zavosky. He steps back to pass. He looks over the middle. He loops one in there. Oh, nice defensive play by the Middies. Batted away by number eight, number six. That's Robert Truong. Came across from the middle of the field and knocked it away. Doubling up that wide receiver. It's a good thing that pass wasn't just a little longer because it was going for six. Now we've got third down and 14 for the Pentucket Panthers. And we've got twins right and left again, same formation. Back is offset right this time. 
quarterback rolls out right, looks right, throws to number 12, who was given a cushion. He might have the first down. If not, he's going to be very close with fourth down coming. They're waving the, the yardsticks forward, so he got the first down. Pass is complete from number 10, Caleb Miser, to number 12, Kevin Wright. Maybe should not have given him that much of a cushion. Giving him 14 when he needs 14, if, or 15 when he needs 14. Doesn't make much sense. Clock is running, 540 to go in the first quarter. Number 10, 10, Caleb Meisner is in the shotgun formation again. We got twin receivers right and left. Number 12 is in motion for Pentucket. That is uh, Kevin Ryder. So now you have trips left and single back, single right, and a sweep play. Can he? Can the middies pick it up? No, not right away. He gets about eight on that play. That looked to be number 12. Kevin Ryder was the last one coming. Middies just didn't fall, go with the flow. They stayed to the left. So again, the middies defense is gouged. We've got second down. It looks to be about two and a half for the Panthers. And the Panthers come out of formation. Number 12, number 10 is the quarterback still. Single back set, twins left and right. Comes up even with the quarterback. Number 20 comes in motion. A reverse the other way. He's looking, he's throwing. He gets him in, in space. Number 12 is pushed out of bounds at about the six, seven yard line by, looks to be number three for the Middies. Kyle Loaz, Lozana. My apologies to his family if I'm mispronouncing that name. Yeah. And that's it. Should be it. Oh, oh, there was a penalty. Clock is stopped with 4.33 to go. They're marching him back. I don't know what that was on sportsmanlike conduct. Five-yard penalty. Replay second down. It's second and seven from the 22. I'm corrected, it's an eligible man downfield for the Panthers. My appreciation to the Pentucket coaching staff who is sharing my window. And so we've got twins both left and right, roll out right by number 10. Middies are in pursuit. Oh, nice! Oh, he dropped it! Nice play by the Middies. Number 15, Nick Greer. Just misses the interception. He drops it. Can't control it as he heads to the ground. You see that replay. He was out there. He threw a nice ball. And 15 just undercut it. A oh, little longer with the pass. A little, you know, shorter. A little longer with the pass. It's a touchdown. A little shorter with the pass. Maybe it's a mid-east uh, interception going the other way. So we got trips to the right, and we got the middies jumping off sides again, it looks like. Encroachment is the call against the middies. Got to wonder, that's twice the same th exact thing has happened, what the quarterback or the center is doing to trigger that. Or maybe the middies are just uh, a little too amped up to be on TV. Offside on the defense, make it third and two from the 17, third and two from the 17. So now we've got third and about two. And we got, oh, nope, we're gonna get a false start here, I believe. There's a flag on the play. False start is the call. So it's one step to forward, two steps back for the Panthers there. And so it's gonna be from third and two to third and five. Oh, no more than that. Seven, third and seven. So third and seven for the Panthers. Four minutes to go on the first quarter clock. Panthers come out of the huddle. Looks like we're gonna have a single set to the left, trips to the right. Mitty's looking to adjust. They're gonna play a soft, soft man or soft zone here. They got leaving the inside receiver loose. Oh, he drops the ball, passes to number 11. Luke Zavaska, and he does not catch the ball. That pass was from Caleb Meisner. And so it's fourth down. 
They gotta get to the 15 yard line and yet again, they're not gonna try a field goal. They're not gonna punt it away. They're gonna go for it. So the middies have to be stout here. They've, they've got seven yards to play with, really only six and three quarters to stop the Panthers. We have trips to the right, single back, a single back set, one receiver to the left. Offset now. Middies get some pressure. Oh, he throws it up. Who sees it? Deflected by the Middies. That's number three. Kyle Lozano with the key pass deflection. And the Middies will take off, take over at the 22 yard line, first and 10, with 3.48 to go in the first quarter. A, an excellent set of defense, well, a good set of de defense over the last four plays by the Middies. You look at that ball, it was one-on-one -on -one coverage. They're fight, hand fighting, so you're not gonna call that. They got a bigger receiver. He cannot get up over the top. That was number 13. Middies go with a, a sweep. Oh, he tries to cut back. He loses his footing a little. That was a carry by number one, Andre Boras. So Boras appears to be the quarterback for the middies. They're flipping the ball back. He took it back to the huddle with him. That's not helpful. Uh, and so we've got a gain of about, looks to be five yards on the play. So Middies look to be in a little bit of a bone, wishbone offense. And off the right tackle this time, cut back to the left, left side of the field. Pot potential late hit there. The only person who would be as to be hurt is a Kentucky Panther. It looks to be a knee injury there. I think that was Boras again on the play. And so 52 comes out, they make a substitution for the Panthers. Mades go to a full backfield again. We have timeout, Pentucket, I believe. Measuring in progress to see if there's a first down in the play. Aha, correction, they're measuring for the first down. I think they'll be inches short and face a second down, I believe. Oh no, third down would be it. And they stake the claim. And it's, oh, it looks like it's gonna be right by the neck of the nose. Nope, inches short, inches short. It'll be just short of a first down. The third and less than a yard. We need, might need a refresher class from Mrs. K to find out how corner. close that really was. From about the 32, third and less than one for the Middies, from about the back of 32. And so the Middies come up, third in inches. Stacked backfield, quarterback is under center, and they flip it back to number six. Robert Truong, who barrels his way out to about the 39, maybe the 40 yard line. Nope, looks like they're only gonna give him to the 30. Nope, just inside the 39 yard line. First and 10 middies. Ishmael Zouawi on the carry. Middies again. And number eight. Ishmael Zouawi on the carry again. He goes over the right-hand side this time, following some blocking. Gets about two or three yards, it appears. We'll wait for the, the spot. Gets it out to the 38-yard line, so he gains four yards, second and six, 2.02 to go in the first quarter. Second and six. take their time in the huddle. Number eight, Ishmael Zouawi comes over to the the, the midi sideline to get the call from Coach McKenzie. Casually walks back to the huddle. 19 seconds off the clock, 20 seconds and more. Calls the play. Full backfield, power to the right hand side of the line. And they come left. They're looking for a pass, I think. He goes back over the middle, under throws it to number 15. Oh, over throws it to number 15. Nick Greer. It looked like it was a floater. They had two, three guys underneath him in coverage. If only that ball had gotten a little longer, it would have been a big play for your middies. So there's 122 
on the clock now. Clock stops on the incomplete pass. Mateys go back to the huddle, call another play. They're at third down and about six. Number eight goes back to the huddle, Ishmael Zawawi. Power backfield. Again, power right. He goes right, Zawawi goes right. He gets to the line. He gets over the 40, maybe to the 42. Needed to get to about the 44. Clock continues to run, 112 and counting. They mark the ball at the 42 yard line. So it is fourth and two for the middies. Number eight gets the call from the sideline. Zawawi, he's calling the play. Let's see what they're doing. And now we're inside a minute on the clock. Middies are calling the play. Stack tight inside. A little razzle-dazzle there. He goes straight up the middle. He's at the first down mark and beyond. He gets to about the 45, maybe the 46. Who had that ball? First down. Looks to be Little Man Tate, as I'll refer to him. That is, can't tell. Didn't see it. It's reminding me of a rugby, a rugby scrum, the way the middies come out of the formation and run the ball. Kind of hard to see who it would be. And it's fake to number one. Oh, he tosses it, incomplete pass the other way. Under pressure, number five was there back there passing, Emmett Collins. Yep, Emmett Collins was attempted that pass play. Second down and 10 for the middies. Number one, Andre Boras grabs some water. And I think that was Boras who had the ball as he looks like the smallest player on the field right now. Looking down the sideline, he very well, I think, is, well, there are some small guys. So he might not be the smallest midi out there. And that's the end, and that was the end of the first quarter, so we'll be switching sides now. The middies will be going towards the home end zone, or the high school side of the field, not the track end of the field. It is a, medium-sized crowd, not too many people here, not too few. And the Midis come out in formation to start the second quarter. We have power to the near side. Three back set. They hand it off. No, yes they do. Oh, there he goes. Number two is trying to take it home. He gets just outside the 20 to the 21. That was Ismael De Jesus. Nice run by the junior, a uh, sophomore. Good things coming down the pike, maybe for the middies. Little misdirection there. He, it was a quick handoff to the up back. Everybody went, two guys went with the quarterback. Up oh, now we've got an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, I believe. Nope, offsides. Middies went for the quick stop. So that makes, goes from first and 10 to first and five for the middies. Ball at the 17 yard line. Middies going from left to right on your TV screen. I look at the camera and so we got a full backfield again. One on the wing and number six keeps it. He goes up the middle, he gets to the first down maybe and beyond. Nope, looks like the side judges marking him just short by a foot, foot and a half. 
we'll see. He places the ball down at the 18 yard line of the Panthers. So it's, uh, looks to be, to be second and one. PA is saying it's second and a short two. Middy's come out with uh, an odd formation. Number 55 is wide left. Five is wide right. If he declares tackle eligible, maybe you've got something. Then they do their switch and swerve play. See what defense the, the uh, Panthers were coming out in. And it's a quick drive up the middle. Number eight, Ishmael, Z Ishmael Zawawi with the carry. And then we got a takedown on number one in the backfield, Andre Boras, who gives a, a little shimmy shake and look to number 30, 21. First down, Nini. Johnny Ogawi of the Panthers. And so we now have first and 10 inside the 10 at about the nine. Oh, fumble! Minnie's fumble again! They fumble and the ball is recovered by number 11, Luke Zavosky of the Panthers. A prime, prime scoring opportunity wasted again by the Minnie's who jog off the field with their heads down and they'll be playing defense now. Just that, nothing went right on that play. Bad snap, bad catch, bad result. So first and 10, ball at the 15 for the Panthers. They come out with a single wide left, trips to the near side right here on your TV screen. Single back set, they hand it off up the middle, and he's he's fighting for yardage, but the middies meet him at the line of scrimmage. A multitude of middies on that play. Could be second and 12. So it's a loss of two, second and 12 for the Panthers. 9.52 to go on the, on the clock. Middies in a four-man front, it appears with uh, two linebackers and five defensive backs. So we have two wide right, two wide left. He rolls out to his left and throws it incomplete to number 13. Aaron Klitschke, or Ketschke. Incomplete, so now we have third and eight for the Panthers. 9.26 on the clock, clock stops on the incomplete pass. Maybe the Middies will get some luck here, third and 12. Ball remains at the 15, 14, 13 yard line. Jogging back to the, to the huddle is number 10, Caleb Meisner. Single back. The air is number 21, Johnny and Gooey. And we roll out left again. He, a right-handed thrower, he tries to throw it underneath. He does, but he's gonna be short of the first down, it appears. Needed to get to the 25. I think he got about to the 20, maybe the 21. Looks like they're gonna mark it straight up on the 20-yard line. So now it's fourth and five, a straight even five, it appears, for the middies to defend. And the Middies have jumped off sides on every other fourth down. So they're hoping now that the punt gets away. The punter appears to be number 12 or number 18. And the punt is away, it's number 68. Fair catch by the Middies at the 48 yard line. He falls on it, that's number 19 it appears. Nope, no, that's number 11. Sam and Deglia, number 68 on the punt was Math Mason Skinner. Skinner is a sophomore offensive lineman and linebacker. So the middies take over at their 47 yard line. Let's see what they can do with 9-11 to go in the second quarter. Middies going somewhat old school with their offense. Uh, no no spread, it, it's more of a 50s style football. Ed Murphy must be hot, 
smiling up uh, in heaven looking at this. We've got power right, ball handed right, number one. Andre Boras gets out to the 50, where he's met by a host of tacklers. It's third and seven, a second and seven for the middies now. Looking at the uh, defensive line for the Panthers. They've got, they're stout in the middle, so the middies who don't have much size at all, just number 76 and number 72 and number 77 are the only guys who I would say have girth, maybe number 70 here on the sidelines too. Uh, will have to use their speed to win this game and their power to, to plug up that middle. And we got some little Rixie Dixie. Oh, number eight gets out wide. He breaks a tackle. He breaks a second tackle before he gets taken down at the 35 yard line of the Panthers. First in 10, Drake and Middies. Nope, they have moving it back to the 36 yard line, it appears. But it's still first and 10 middies. 8.20 to go. Pentucket needs to make a stop now. Up, oh, and we got a, I'm guessing we got a false start there. Yep. That was easy to see. The whistle got blown before anything got going. So, five yard penalty on the middies, false start. That ball will be taken back to about the 41 yard line, I believe. Yep, we're correct. The 41 yard line. So Middies first and 15 with 8.10 to go in the second quarter. Going to half. Coach McKenzie walks out to the, the hash marker. Well, the, the numbers gives uh, Truong the, the signals. Oh, Ishmael Zawawi, the signals. Jogs back to the, the huddle. Looks at it. Panthers are showing a five-man front with uh, possibly bringing up a safety or something on the edge here. So it's a six-man front, maybe. Maybe showing power formation. They go out right. Oh, they're going to try and pass. He's got a man open. Does he have him? Oh, no, he drops the ball as he's going out of bounds. Number 15 tried to make a nice catch, Nick Greer, but he couldn't. Looked a little like a friend of mine, John Buckley out there. But 15 does not have 34 his talent just yet. And he was under some heavy pursuit. Luckily, number 78 couldn't catch him. Maybe something can be said for the throwing motion. You please respect the decision to the officials at all times. This means please do not chant at the referees. Thank you very much. And so we have a, a little wider formation this time, man in motion. Tosses to, to is Zawawi. Zawawi gets upended, gets back to about the 41 yard line before his knee and elbow touch. So they'll down, they'll put him up. Nope, they lost a yard. So now it's third down from the 42 yard line. Mitty's in a clear passing, um, passing down, third and 16. What can Coach McKenzie pull out of his uh, bag of tricks? We shall soon find out. Ishmael Zawawi comes back to the sideline, gets the call, jogs back to the huddle, gives his team the call. Everybody comes out together. And so we have a power right formation. Mitty's Looking at it, they're going to go right. No, they're going to go left. And he's up the middle. So, oh, he's taking it to the house. Oh, he tripped. One shoestring tackle away from scoring. Nice run for Zawawi. Coaches are just laughing. They can't believe that that happened. Timeout, middies. Must be, it must be checking Zawawi's shoelaces to make sure they're tied. So the young bucks of young buck middies are, are driving again. He looks to his right, he goes left immediately, takes a quick look, gets past number 51 on the edge, gets past, goes there. Number 13 is the one that made that shoestring tackle. Aaron Ketchke, the sophomore. It's a 
defensive back. Biddy stay on the sidelines. And Tuck and Panthers are back to the line of scrimmage, which is at the 23 yard line. And the Biddies will come out. Number 55 is the tackle on the left hand side. That's Aiden Thompson. Power right for the Middies. 15 wide, right, two backs in the backfield, third back. He drops back the pass, he throws it. Oh, touchdown, Middies! Break it, Middies, score a touchdown. That's number 15. Nick Greer with the catch. 24 yards, 22 yards on the catch. Got behind the defense behind two defensive backs and just got it lobbed in there for him. Nice pass by number five, Emmett Collins. Flag of the play. I'm going to guess it's delay of game, and that pick looked to be wide right of them. That should be. Uh, and they're marching the middies back. And so he'll try it now from the 15 yard line. So it's a 25 yard kick. Oh, dropped! And they're gonna sack him. So it's only 6-0, not 7-0 for the Middies with 6.15 to go in the first half. You are drinking Middies six. The Kentucky Panthers zero. So 6.15 to go in the second quarter. Panthers have a chance to uh, respond before the half. Coach is talking about uh, special teams back here at about the 45 yard line. Coach McKenzie talking to one of his assistants down there, scratching his head, trying to figure out what to do. Yelling, I think, stay down now. And number six, it looks like, is going to jog. No, nope, number 20 is going to jog out to do the kicking. Eddie Jenkins. Jenkins is a senior running back and defensive lineman, place kicker as well. We've got three back. Two lines of three for the Panthers. Fathers back they are is the 20 yard line. Wait for Eddie Jenkins kick. And Jenkins kicks a screwball that lands at the 32 yard line. He's trying to get to the outside. Number 12 is taken down and that's a flag on the play. So Kevin Ryder is taken down by number one, Andre Boras. He just hugged him and body slammed him. Boras I believe is a, a midis wrestler so. That looks like j just a hip toss that Matt Daney taught him. So it should be a, I believe it's going to be a personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Yep, he had him. Oh, he, maybe they call a horse collar. He had the back of his shirt and pulled him back that way. So we're still waiting on the call. Personal foul on the kicking team. That was a little reminiscent of, I think, the replacements with Keanu Reeves, the movie. So instead of the 40-yard line, it's going to be the 45-yard line of the Middies. From the Dragon 45, 
the Drake coaches are still discussing the call with the referee. He's telling them, you can't, just can't do that. And so now you've got an, an eye, now an offset eye, twins right and left. The quarterback keeps the, the ball. He goes up the middle, gets about 10 yards on the carry, maybe 11. That was number 10, Caleb Meisner, the quarterback on the keeper. He's at the 34 yard line with 6.02 to go on the clock. And now the clock starts up again. Number 87 for the Middies. Connor Anello comes out of the game. We got a base 4-4, base 43 defense looks by the, for the Middies. And in a tight safety there, nope, it's 44. They come up into a 44 with wide receivers, twins right and left. Hands off up the middle again. And the Panthers get another first down. Number 15, Nick Greer makes the tackle. On number 21, it looked like Johnny Agui. So it's first and 10 for the Panthers at the Middies 20 yard line. 5.15 and counting on the clock. And now they come back down again. We've got a single wide receiver left, trips to the right in the formation. Middies go out right, they're gonna play a little soft zone here it looks like. You got two, you got a crossing pattern, they're trying to, oh that ball is on the ground incomplete. Threw it at his feet, he had some blockers ahead of him. They just had to account for uh, some rushing middies defensive backs on the play. No luck for the Panthers, as the middies didn't fall prey. So it's second and 10 from the 20 yard line for the middies. Uh, for the Panthers against the Middies. 4.56 and counting on the clock. And we go back to a trips formation right. Single wide receiver set left. Single back offset. Number 10 keeps the ball. He gets up the middle. He slips on the cut. Slips on the turf. Gets about three yards, maybe two yards on the play. Can't tell if it's the 17 or the 18 that they're gonna mark him down at. It's the 17, so he gains three yards. So it's a uh, third, and eight. third and eight, long, short seven, long eight, it looks like. No, maybe it is the 18. They marked it back at the 18. Old age starts to set in when you try to look at angles. Again, apparently I need a lesson from Miss K, Mrs. K. And roll out right, he throws it out to the flat. Oh, he drops it. Mitty's almost picked it off. So now we've got a fourth down to go for the middies. Number 11 was out there for the middies. That was Sam and Deglia. And so on fourth down, I think Pentucky calls the timeout. Middies are gonna group, regroup, talk about it. Coaches are, are telling, imploring them not to uh, leave those wide receivers alone to get up on them. Coach McKenzie is down with, it looks like, the defensive backfield talking to them while one of his assistants talks to uh, the uh, defensive line. I'm guessing that's John Degnan is the assistant coach talking to the line, or John Stossel. And as the music starts, Hopefully the, the uh, timeout will stop. And so we have twins right and left. Single back set I, number 21, behind the quarterback, Ngawi, behind Caleb Meisner. Meisner rolls out to the right. He's gonna throw it into the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers! Over the outstretched arms of the defensive back. Nice pass, nice play call by the Panthers to tie this game at six with 4.03 to go in the second quarter. Middies just had to drop down a little looser, I guess, on that defense. They let him get behind them. Never a good thing. And it 
looks like we're going to have a kick. As you see, they had two wide receivers go out. The outside, yep, that was over Sam and Degley's outstretched arms. We got a timeout by the Penteca Panthers before the PAT. Must be trying to decide what they're going to do. Ball is placed at the three yard line. So maybe they're going to talk about going for two. Certainly, they've gouged the middies for uh, some big plays up the middle. And the middies are very lucky that they're only tied in this game and not down. 4.03 to go in the second quarter. And now they've had their time. It's going to be number two, it appears, with the kick. Henry Hartford. And they get in there quick, but the ball is up, and it is through just inside the left upright. So it's a 7-6 to six lead for the Pentucket Panthers over your host middies with 4.03 to go in the second quarter. So Mitties have four minutes and three seconds to do something on offense. They looked good on the last drive. They've looked good a couple of times. They just have to stop tripping over their own feet, literally and figuratively. Looks like the coaches, are, oh no, that's the trainer. The athletic trainer is down cleaning up a little uh, scuff on one of the player's knees. <laughs> And the athletic trainer is wearing a Drake at Fire Department uh, outfit, so it just looks that way. Mitty's back to receive. They've got number one, Andre Boras, number 15, Nick Greer, deep. They are running five on the front line, four on the second line, so five, four, two spread to receive. Number two puts it on the left hash mark to kick off. So I would expect a hook of a kick. Maybe a soccer style kick here. We'll find out from number two, Henry Hartford. And no, it's straight to the left hand side of the field. And he, he shakes one, he can't shake two. He's taken down. <laughs> a not too dissimilar tackle to uh, what the Middies could call for passing uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on. Just apparently where you place your hands on that one. And so the Middies will have first and 10. Ball at the 24 yard line with 3.57 to go in the second quarter. And Ishmael Zawawi comes out with the play. So it looks like we're going to have a little Wildcat uh, spread. No, it's not spread. A little Wildcat going here. So we got wide right sweep. He gets around the corner. He gets out to the 30. That was number eight. Ishmael Zawawi. So it was a quarterback keeper on the play. Making it get second and three from the 30 yard line. It's an even three, not a long or short three. And they power right again. They almost moved a little too quickly. He gets around the corner. That's number one. Andre Boras gets bounced out of bounds at the 39 yard line. 38 maybe? We'll find out on the spot. It's the 38-yard line. So he gets about uh, five or six on that one. So it's first and 10 for the middies, 328 to go. Clock is stopped. Middies have one timeout. Panthers have two, if you're waiting or watching that. Up, oh, snaps a little slow. 
once again, they use that same play, delay, dive left, up the middle, and Boras goes from the 37, 38 yard line out to the 47 yard line. That's close to a gain of 10. Oh, nope, they're moving it back to the 45 yard line now. That was Andre Boras on the carry number one, it appeared to be. And so we've got uh, power to the right for the Mini's formation. We got a little razzle dazzle. Who's got the ball? It's the guy in the middle. And the Panthers pile on there. Number 78 is key in that. Bryson Marte, a, so a junior. Timeout middies, they take their last timeout, facing third and a long four. No, long three, correction. So ball's on the 45. Middies are going to talk about it, third down and three. They could potentially take two plays to get this first down. Well, they could go for it all in one. It's all about what you're uh, looking to achieve, accomplish. Middies drive back to the to the to the football. Ball's on the right hash mark. Power right formation. It goes up the middle, gets, oh, he's over the, he's going to the 49, maybe the 50. You get a rugby strum going at half midfield before the uh, officials blow the whistle. They should be about the 49 and a half yard line and a first down. They only need to get to the 48 yard line. So 2.41 to go on the clock. And the Middies have a first down and 10. Just right on the 50 yard line. Knows that the football is touching the 50. Middies stay in power right formation. Looking to make the call. It's back to number eight, Z Zawawi again. Zawawi's bouncing off players. And he gets a push, he's out of bounds. And there's still some pushing, no flags on the play. He gets out to about the 45 before they pushed him out of bounds. Gain of about five, maybe six. Let's see, he's marking it at the 45, so gain of five. Middies call for call another play. Losing some uh, medical tape, or athletic tape wrap. Coach McKenzie's tossing it in his pocket, scrumming it up. We got, uh, so while we come into the sidelines again, and number six comes into the game. That's Robert Truong. So I'm guessing it'll be Truong with the ball. Uh, we got to number five out there too, Emmett Collins, who was the, the backup quarterback last year and listed on the roster as another quarterback. Could they be going deep? It's a bunch formation. Oh, he goes out wide left. He's gonna try to run it. He's got the first down and more. He's outside the, the Outside the 35 yard line. Looks like they're gonna mark him out at the 33 yard line. Everybody bunched up and the Minis just used some speed there. Emmett Collins on the carry. Now it's number one, Andre Boras gets the play call. Jogs to the huddle. Calls the play, Minis have a lot of small backs. Reminds me of a Joe Morris, formerly of the Air High School Panthers, running. Maybe Eric Metcalf for those NFL fans who don't remember Joe Morris or Jamie. And there we go, he gets around the edge. That's Boras again, he's run out and it looks like the 30 yard line now. Maybe the 29. We'll see where they, we got differing opinions on each side of the field, one was at the 29, one was at the 30. <laughs> Ball is marked out at the 30, so that's a gain of about three yards for the middies. So it's second and seven for the middies, 2.05 to go in the second quarter. Another odd formation for the middies. They're gonna have five up on the line, they go into a shift. Kind of like an old Dallas Cowboys movie. 
five. Emmett Collins is in the backfield. He's going to take the snap. No, it is not. It's eight. Ishmael Zawawi, he gets up the middle. He gets tripped again. He gets over that trip. And two men tackle him inside the 20 at about the 18-yard line, maybe the 17. For a minis first down. And so we've got another one here. And Collins stays out there. Again, he's up there with Ishmael Zawawi. Zawawi gets the snap. He's fighting for more yardage. He's fighting to about the 15 yard line. And a mini's helmet comes off. Zawawi's helmet comes off. Whistle, whistle blown by the officials. I think it was pulled off by a defender. Face mask call. That'll be half the distance to the goal. So the ball should be inside the 10 at about the eight yard line, I believe, seven and a half. Not a smart decision by the Panthers, certainly. With the middies driving. Ball is, in fact, on the eight yard line, it appears. Kind of hard to see from this distance, even on the camera angle. Middies are there. So Wowie takes the snap again, reverses it to number one, Jacob Truong. Truong's up the middle, he's fighting for yardage. He's in for a touchdown! Minis touchdown, 1.15 to go in the second quarter. Ishmael Zuawi, no, Andre Boros with the score. The coach McKenzie is calling, looks like he's gonna go run for the two point conversion to try and make it 14-7. Not wasting any, any opportunities now. Again, you've got uh, Zawawi and Collins in the backfield. Power right formation. Oh, he was he down? He down. The snap was low, and he put his knee down. That makes him down. So they fail on the two-point conversion. And with 1.14 to go on the clock, it's 12-7 middies. Middies have to work on that special teams both the kicking and the running game. They gotta work on their snaps. Perhaps Coach Gorby needs to come over from the Richardson and uh, show these boys how to play center. For those of you who are not aware, Mr. Gorby was a, I believe an all-conference center for the Biddies back in 1987. And then went to Bridgewater State and played some football. Again, as an offensive lineman. I believe Gorby was 58, but I'll have to check that. No, 53. Gorby was 50. My bad. And so the Mitties are going to kick off. Five men up on the line. Six men up on the No, five men up on the line of scrimmage or the midfield line for the. Panthers, 5-3-3. Three, three. So Eddie Jenkins to kick off. He looks both sides, make sure they're all set. And squibs another kick. It gets inside the 20 to about the 26 yard line. Uh, inside the 30, I should say. And they're fighting for the ball. And who's taking them down? They're blowing the whistle now. Number 20 on the return. That was Nick Carrion. A freshman wide receiver defensive back. But, you know, he didn't look like a freshman on that play. He, he was fighting for every yard he could get and not letting those middies take him down. And so, with 107 to go on the clock, ball's at the 35, 36, 37 or 30, 37 yard line, just, nope. 38 yard line, 62 yards to go. 107. Twins right and left, single back set, offset left. Now he's offset right, moves over. Man in motion, number 13. They hand it off to 13, who's back to pass. He throws it down to a wide open number 11. Luke Zavosky with the touchdown. 
to put the Pentucket Panthers up 13 to 12 with a PAT pending. Maybe he's making monumental mistake in that case. Monumental mistake, letting the receiver get by them and nobody was anywhere near getting to him. Show the fans that again. You see that the fake 13 goes back, throws it a little sidearm underhand, and nobody was in 10 yards of him. You had a defensive back to the, to the hash, you had a defensive back to the sidelines, and nobody stayed with the receiver. Now number two, Henry Hartford with the PAT kick to make it 14-12. And it's a high snap, and the minis get through and block it. No, they, they say it went through the uprights. So it's 14-12 Panthers with 55 seconds to go to half. Do the minis have something? Wait a second. Oh, we have an injured mini on the field. Can't tell from here who that is. Looks to be a big man. And the trainer, if you're looking for the trainer, there he is. He's down the other end of the field. Checking on it. He's got his medical back. It looks to be number 71, Jonathan De Silva. We'll co confirm that so we don't scare his mom or his dad. Nope, that's number 51, Manny Farley. Looks to have a, a right knee issue. Like they're gonna, oh, he's gonna sit down on the bench and have uh, the fire department look at him. We're acting as the athletic trainers this evening. And it looks like maybe dad's gonna come to the sidelines. And so we're gonna kick off number two, Henry Hartford, to kick off for the Middies, uh, for the Panthers to the Middies. And late. Late bloomer there for the middies down in the center of the field. And it's down to the left hash mark. Looks like uh, Boros with the return. He's up to the 30, it's up to the 35, 40, 45. Oh, wow. Nice hit by Israel De, Israel De Jesus on the, the uh, kickoff team. He took a, he gave a, a, a whooping to uh, a couple of the, of his opponents there. Nice hit. That's worth a star. And so ball is at the 43 yard line of the middies. Trying to get to the, the end zone with 48 seconds to go on the clock. Middies line is down there. And they're in power Looks to be a power right formation. And they go power left. Moving, he gets out to about the 50. Panthers will allow that. I believe that was number eight, Ishmael Zawawi on the carry. So it's second and about three for the middies. Power right remains. This time it, they're going straight up the middle. He powers to the first down, where he's taken down by a couple. And yes, that's Zawawi again, so power Zawawi. And now the Panthers have a, a mid lineman hobbling a little. He's just gonna be a, a nose tackle, so he's gonna gut it out. Middies with a little razzle dazzle there too. Oh, who is it? Who's got the ball? It's in the middle, number 58's making a block. Maybe that's 59, Benjamin Botang. And that was that's the end of the first half where the Pentucket Panthers lead 14-12 over your Drake at Middies. Oh, and we have another injured Middy on the field. Uh, 
attention fans at this time. I want to direct your attention to the field as the Drake High School Marching Middies of the direction of Zachary Cooper present their 2022 halftime show.
Welcome back to Beaudry Field here in Dracut, Massachusetts, where the Dracut Middies are taking on the Pentucket Panthers. This is Dracut Access Television, Channel 22, and I'm your host, Mark Nichols. The Middies come out of halftime, trailing 14 to 12, thanks to a late second quarter touchdown by the Panthers. The Middies let a receiver get away 20, 30 yards and for an easy score. Now, we get to the second half. Middies will take the kickoff as they deferred to the second half. Henry Hartford is back for Pentucket to kick. Middies have a 5-4-2 formation. And they kick it over to the right-hand side to the up back at the 22. He takes it. He's got... Gets to about the 23 before he's piled on by about three or four Panthers. We welcome all of our fans far and wide who are watching this game either on Channel 22 locally, Drake at Access Television via the internet, or Drake at Access Television's YouTube channel, drakeataccesstv.org. And Ishmael Zawawi jogs out to the huddle with the call. Looks back at Coach Jermaine. McKenzie gets a, an, an adjustment to the original call. Zawawi was hurt at the end of the first half, but was, was able to uh, work through that cramp and get back out here on the field. Power right formation. We're going to have a, a false so start the for the play. minis. False start. So they'll be backed up five yards and start with a first and 15 with 11.55 to go in the third quarter. First and 15 from the 29. Middies have first and 15 from their own 29 yard line. Middies tonight have had some success on the ground and some success in the air, but not a lot of it either. Power formation to the right. Number one, Andre Boris up the middle. He's dragging a couple of tacklers. They're trying to take him down. Not so quick. Ball's out to about the 47, 48 yard line of first the Middies, first and 10. Gain of about 22, 23 yards on the play. Middies quickly get back in formation, power right again. Oh, get on that ball. And the Middies fumble for the third time tonight. This time they only lose yardage and not the ball. That has been a bad, bad situation for the middies and so now instead of first and ten it is second and about 20 I think yep maybe 19 so the middies have some fighting to do trailing by two got it power right formation quick handoff to what Boros again, he's fighting for more yardage. He gets maybe to the 30s, 41 yard line before he's taken down or pushed back. So ball is marked at the 41 yard line. He gets five of that back, so it's still third and 14. Maybe third and 16. Car side speakers. So. Third down for the middies. So the middies remain in that power right formation. It is with this, it, yeah. Panthers with a standing linebacker on the right hand side of the formation. Back to pass is Mitchell Collins. He throws it deep to number 15, who just cannot, goes up. Nick Grigg goes up and just cannot corral the throw. We're not going to confuse him with Will Greer of West Virginia, certainly on the play, but clearly that was, I think, a catchable ball and would have been a Middies first down. Instead, we're looking at fourth and 16 from the 30, 41 yard line. Personal foul, roughing the passer. That's an automatic first down for the Middies. And Panthers coaches must be pulling their hair out on that one. They had him stopped and just a foolish penalty. And now Andre Boras jogs out with the play. 
looked like number two. There are two fouls back. on the play. It's Royal Day. Oh, Lloyd. Sorry. Touching the passer against the defense. An eligible receiver downfield on the offense. Those penalties offset. So offsetting penalties mean Mitty's a back to fourth and 16, or third and 16. Oh, can he get past him? Number one, Andre Boras gets there. Oh, that should be a horse call a tackle. And there's no call on the play. That was a horse call a tackle. No doubt about it. And the, the fans are not letting the referee uh, go without hearing their, their discontent with the call. So ball gets out to about the 48 yard line. And you see number 53 clearly has him by the by the back of the shoulder pads. That should be a horse collar tackle. That is the clear definition of a horse collar tackle. So ball's now at the, remains at the middies 48, fourth and about 10 yards to go. Maybe 11. Middies in power right formation. Kentucky's sagging back. Mitchell Collins, Emmett Collins, throws it deep. Does he have a receiver? He does. Oh, no. Interception. Panthers number 13. Aaron Ketsky. That's almost as good as a punt. And with the Mitties kicking game, it might be better than a punt. Ball is at the 20 yard line, first and 10 for the Panthers. Minners have nobody to blame but themselves for that. He's got two, two men in coverage against number 15, Nick Greer, and couldn't get it down there far enough. Put a, maybe a little too much air under it. So at 9.45 to go in the third quarter, the Panthers take over the ball at the 25 yard line. Plays call it coming in from the sidelines, number 10. Caleb Meisner gets the call, gets the call. We have twin receivers right and left. Single back set. Now they move in a little tighter with one receiver from the left going across the formation. Snap, high snap, taken by. Oh, and he's gonna break it. How far he breaks it? Out to the 45-yard line, gain of about 20. And we got a Panther lying. Rolling around on the ground, he's not feeling too good. And they're gonna have to call it a timeout. He's too close to the field not to. And there we go, we have finally have the timeout. Mateys will be brought, well, one guy will be brought over the sidelines because you cannot uh, have a, a huddle. Or a, you can't go across the formation to the sideline on a, an injury. Timeout. So we're in a, and they're winding the clock now, so the clock has started again, 9.24 to go. 9.19 ain't counting. It's uh, first and 10 for the Panthers. Offset eye, they motion in number two again. And false jump, jumping by the middies. Henry Hartford goes in motion and the middies jump. So that's a five yard penalty against the middies. Oh no, yep, he dropped the ball. I thought he was gonna put it down at the 48. Instead it's at the 50, so first and five. 9.02 remaining. Middies not showing the discipline that they should. Coach is a little uh, irritated on the sideline with his hat backwards and yelling. And so, the Panthers come up to the line, leading by two, 8.45 and counting on the clock. Offset eye, Hartford comes in tight on the left, goes across the motion, and they hand it off up the middle, and he breaks another tackle, number three. Jackson Rich, the senior running back, Gets another 10, 12 yards. He's down inside the 52, the 40, the 37 yard line, 13 yard gain for Pentucket. Middies need to make a stop here. And I don't mean of their defense. 
I mean, their defense needs to make a stop. They can't stop themselves. And so, offset eye, formation number 10 takes the snap. Number three up the middle again. He's tackled and held by Robert Truong, but he carries Truong for an extra two or three yards. That looks to be a gain of about seven on the play, maybe eight for a third three. Mitty's taking number 87 off the field. Connor Anello will be a substitution for him. He's getting some water, not an injury. And then, are they playing with 10? We got four down. They might be playing with 10. Snap, number 10's back to pass. He's looking, he's got a hand in his face. And it's an incomplete pass to number 11. Luke Zavasky, incomplete, so now it's fourth down, I believe. The yard marker should be, uh, the down marker should be changing, but apparently they're gonna keep it at third and three. So you're right, it should, that was, uh, so now it's third and three. Panthers took their, uh, their risk on second down. And so we're gonna see what they got. They got an offset eye, shotgun formation, toss sweep. Number one, oh, Andre Boros with a tackle for loss and a flag on the play. They're gonna call him for horse collar tackling. No, wait a second, looks like holding. Where they threw the flag, it looked like uh, they were gonna call it against the middies. Instead, the middies get some luck. Fourth down, middies are not gonna go give a attack on the five yards. The flag is an illegal formation on ah. the offense. The penalty is Correction, decline. illegal formation. The play is a fourth down. And the officials are going over to talk to the middies coaches as the Pentucket Panthers come out of the huddle. They go back into a, a shorter huddle. And the referee blows the whistle to start the clock. 7-11 and counting. 10 comes in from the sidelines. Caleb Meisner with the play call. I'd expect a run up the middle or a run to the right. And he's looked stout with a 43 deep, uh, four, four down lineman. You got twins right and left to keep the middies honest. I still expect, oh, he rolls out right. He's looking, he's throwing. He has the first down and a little more inside the 20 to about the 17 yard line where he, the Minis wrestle him down. That's number 15, Nick Greer on the tackle. Nick Greer now has a cramp, it looks like. He's trying to stretch his leg out. Andre Boras and uh, looks like number three, Kyle Lott, Lozana, helping him out. The trainer looks to be jogging across the field to take care of him. Minis take a knee. Panthers take a knee. It will be first and 10. Ball at about the 17 yard line. As an athletic trainer friend of mine said, you've got to hydrate days before the game, not the morning of the game, to prevent these things. It's not all that warm out here. It's only about 65 degrees right now. But Mitty's trainers are stretching him out. Just a reminder, you're watching this game on Channel 22, Drake at Access Television, or Drake at Access Television's YouTube channel, or Drake at Access TV.org. And here he goes, he's gonna hop across the field with that uh, hamstring injury. Maybe he'll make a substitution. He's trying to stay in the game. That doesn't work. They gotta, he has to go out. Greer is certainly a fighter for wanting to stay in there, but probably should get some Gatorade and water mix. And so the middies are on their heels. Panthers have first and 10 from the 17 yard line. Twins wide right, twins wide left. Bigger spread to the left, wide side of the field, offset eye. Middies scrunch in a little. The looks like a defensive back is coming into the uh, guard tackle slot on the right side of the middies line. Left side of the deep offensive line. 
Long snap. And quarterback keeper, number 10, takes it up the middle where he's tackled as he tries to cut it inside. That's number two on the stop. Israel De Jesus. So gets three yards on the play, second and seven for the Panthers. Ball is inside the 15 at the 13 yard line. Just up, oh, nope, he's moving it back to the 14 yard line now. That wasn't inches, that was feet. And so, second and seven. Keeper again by Meisner, he's up the middle, he's through the line, fumble, fumble. Minis are on top of it, it looks like. Yes, they recovered it about the two yard line. Recovery was by number two, Israel De Jesus. Went right up the middle, just dropped the ball as he was trying to spin to get in the end zone. And nice play by the Minis, the defense saves the day, at least for now. First and 10, ball will be on the three yard line. There it is, who made that strip? 11 was up, number one, Andre Boras made the, the, the uh, strip. So one and two. What happened to three, Kyle Lozano? So it's first and 10, Mitty's in a power right formation. Tight to the line, who's got the ball? They put it straight up the middle. It's probably Zawawi again. Can't really tell. He carries it out to the 10 yard line. 77 helping his back up. That is. Looks like number two, Israel De Jesus. So it's second and three as he gets out to the 10 yard line. Number eight coming in from the sideline, Ishmael Zawawi with the play call. So, so while he's under there, he takes the snap. He goes up around the right end. He's still fighting. We have a scrum going. He's back to the 15. Oh, he's still fighting for yardage, but they'll mark him down and call forward progress stop at the 15 yard line. First down, middies. And the coaches look to be motioning about that horse call a tackle again, unless they've got flies around their heads. So first and 10 from the 15 for the Middies here on Channel 22, Drake at Access Television. Inside four minutes to go in the third quarter, Middies trail 14-12, as you can see at the top of your screen. So. Who's got the ball right up the middle? Looks like to be Andre Boras again. Might be wrong on that. Number one, Andre Boras. So it's second and nine. Second and 10 for the Middies. Up, oh, a little, uh, don't know what they were doing there. I don't even think they knew. And it's a false start, so either the snap was too soon or nobody was expecting it in the backfield. From the 16 yard line, second and 14 for the Middies. So five yard. They move the middies five yards back. It's second and 15 from the 16, 15 and a half yard line. Nope, 
Correction, that's the 11 and a half yard line, just inside the 12. So while we're in with the play. And it's a take by Zawawi. He's got the ball in one his right arm. He's holding on to that ball. He gets over the 20 to about the 22-yard line. It's uh, third and about two, maybe one and a half for the middies. Ball snapped. Oh, it's a misdirection for the middies again. Over the. Over oh, the 25 yard line to about the 26 yard line, it appears. That's Zawawi, and we got some. We got an angry midi, and I think that's uh, number five, Emmett Collins, trying to calm his players down. And it is a midi's first down. They mark the ball out at the 27 yard line. 53 is fouled over to the sidelines by his coach, so apparently he was somehow involved in that scrum, I guess. He's waiting for the play, Emmett. Nope, Zawawi over there with Jermaine McKenzie. And the Middies letting this clock just run down to in the third quarter. Trailing by two inside 30 seconds to go. Middies power right formation. They go right. Emmett Collins rolls to the left, rolls back to the right, gets around the corner, he's got some blocking. Oh, he should have gone out of bounds, and he takes a blow to the head, too. Ball is taken out to about the 32-yard line, so he gets just past the line of scrimmage. Maybe a four-yard gain, four-and-a-half-yard gain. Second and four. They're saying the second and four. It looks closer to the second and five to me. So, Middies facing second down, and that's the end of the third quarter here at Drake at Access Television, where after three quarters, it's Kentucky Panthers 14, Drake at Middies 12. So we're about to start the fourth quarter here for the Middies as they switch ends. They'll be going to the track side of the field, running towards the track side of the field and the uh, visiting stands. Middies trailing by two. They have a second and four. And 12 minutes to get those two points back and hold on to a lead. Or regain the lead. Really. Middies and odd formation. Looks like they're going to go power, power left this time. Nope. Straight up the middle power. And it's a snap back. He goes, fakes left, goes right. No, fakes right, goes left. And as a tackle, and a little pile on by number 55 at the end of that play. That's uh, Mitch Martin, the senior, making sure he's down on the play. So Zawawi comes over to the side, gets the play call from Jermaine McKenzie. <laughs> So the Middies will face a first and 10 from the 43 yard line. Number eight, Zawawi keeps the ball. He's up the middle, he's close to midfield. He's about to the 49 yard line. That should be a gain of about five on the play. 43 to the 40, oh, no, nope, seven yards because he was at the 43. Yes, Dad, you did teach me math. And so second and three for the Middies, 10.52 on the clock. Tight formation right. Oh, low snap again. And Boros is stopped for a loss. 
That's the fourth or fifth time in this game that the Middies have uh, fumbled the snap. They got to work on that. They got, they were, I saw them practicing on the sidelines, but they have to take what they're doing on the sidelines in the practice field to the game field. So facing a third down and about six from the 47 yard line. Oh, oh, reverse. He goes back up the middle, gets regains what he just lost. So they're back to the 50, but they'll be facing fourth down now. That carry looks to have been by number five, Emmett Collins. Middies, Zawawi, Collins comes out. Nope, that was number six, Robert Truong. Ishmael Zawawi comes into the game with the play call. Pentucket looks sturdy in the middle. They've got some wide, the corners are wide. They're going straight up the middle, and he's got the first down, and a little more. Let's see where they're gonna mark him before forward progress is stopped. I think they got him by about half an inch. Somebody grab a tape measure. Let's find out how close this is. And it is a first down. First down minis, 9.18 to go in the fourth quarter. Minis is showing some fight in the second year of Jer Jermaine McKenzie's tenure here at Drake. Now we got power right formation again. Quarterback set back. It looks to be number one again. And he spins Andre Boris with a spin, rattle, and roll. Nice block out there by number 50. That's Jules Cabrera Gonzalez. Ball's at the 41 yard line of Pentucket. Second and three. And Truong takes it again. Now Boras takes it again. He's over the 35 yard line. Nice, 78. Raisin Marte and 50. Jules Cabrera Gonzalez are having quite the uh, battle out here on the, on the left side of the line. Now we've got a first in 10 minutes at the 33 yard line. Power right again. Up, oh, we're going to get another false start. There's a flag on the play. I believe that's the sixth of the game. What? Nope, that is a false start. I thought he was reaching for his face ma for a face mask call, which seems odd at uh, a dead ball. So middies are marching back five. Ball is now with the 38 yard line, first and 15. Looks like. Number six, Jake Truong is coming to the sidelines. Andre Boras is in there. Power right formation. Defense stays balanced. Oh, he falls on it again. Another bad snap. Ishmael Zawawi fumbles the snap, which was definitively low. And now the Midi's faced second and 20. First down marker is set at the 23 yard line. Ball is set at the 43 yard line. So yes, first and 20, a uh, second and 21 for the middies. And it's a fake. Who's got the ball? Right up the middle. And he gets inside the 30 to about the 27 of the 28 yard line. Who made that? Up oh, and he's down on the field again. We got another midi down. Let's see, who, and another calf injury or hamstring injury. Looks to be number two, Israel De Jesus. Number fifteen for the midis. Nick Greer comes over to get the play call and talk to the uh, 
his coach. That's the fourth or fifth midi on the evening to have a cramping issue. So clearly they have to uh, go back to health class during the week and be reminded to, to hydrate up, drink a lot of water and a lot of Gatorade. Not on Friday afternoon, but on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday heading into a Friday game. Middies take a knee as they try to stretch out whom I believe is Israel de Jesus. Middies coaches on the sidelines. McKenzie goes out to the far right hash mark to check on his player and talk to his, his offense. That's number two, Israel de Jesus on my roster. Everybody's calling him Benjamin. So maybe there is a, uh, a mistake on this roster. Since the only Ben is Benjamin Boateng, number 59. That's clearly a single number. Number two, Israel de Jesus. Injured left, looks to be a left calf or hamstring injury. Four. Yep. And they're going to continue to stretch him out. So it is third and about five for the Middies. Tight formation. Oh, keeper. And little man hiding in the middle of the pile doesn't quite work. There's no Tyreek Hill motion there. So gets a fourth now. We're at fourth down. Ball is marked down at the 27 yard line. Need to get to the 23 yard line. So that's four. Gain of about one maybe on that play. Middies clearly have to go for it. It's too close to punt. And it's too long for any field goal attempts based on what we've seen today in the, tonight in this game. Middies bring the play into the huddle, number one. Andre Boris, I believe, brings in the play. Yes, it is. And so we're going to have two in the backfield. Power right formation. We stay. Oh, it's straight up the middle. Nope. He's. Oh, he's still on his feet. Oh, balls on the ground again. Minis, they're going the other way, I think. Nope. Who fell on that? The big man fell on that. Who was that lineman? It's a first down for the Middies, thanks to the offensive line. That's 51. And it, yes, 51 jumps on that fumble. Manny Farley, who was hurt earlier with a cramp. Truong, I believe, had the, uh, Boros had the carry. So first and 10 Middies, balls at the 16 and a half yard line. Low snap again. Run off left, up the middle. They tackle him at about the 10 yard line, it looks. So that's, oh, well, yeah, maybe. The soccer lines are messing me up, guys. I apologize. Ball should be at the 10 yard line, I believe. Yes, it is. So some stout offensive line play by the Mades is getting them forward. Number one, Andre Boras looks to pick something up off the ground, either his mouthpiece or something else. And we got a strap to Truong. Ishmael Zawawi is in for the touchdown. 426 on the clock. Mini scored to go up 18-14 with a PAT pending. How about those middies? That's number eight, Ishmael Zawawi with his second touchdown of the evening. Looking good. And 
and it's a keeper. Oh, no, it's down. They fail on the PAT run. Number one, it, Andre Boras attempted that, and he's a little revved up about that. He tried to run behind number 51, Manny Farley, and they just got stonewalled. Too many men trying to run into the power of that uh, Panther defense. But the Minis retain a 18-14 lead with 4.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Can the defense hold? That is the question we must ask. Minis get some uh, encouragement from the special teams coach. Coach Jermaine McKenzie's out there talking to his team with, I believe that's Bill Austin. Now they're calling, they're making a switch. Number 55 is being, Aiden Thompson is being switched with number 87, Connor Anello. The tall, lanky tight end. And let's see what the middies have. Number 20 to kick. Eddie Jenkins. Jenkins kicks have not gotten anywhere past the 20, and that's, we can bear witness to that fact when we look at the return team is just at two or men are at the 20. One guy is at the 17 yard line. Here comes Jenkins with the kick. He kicks it deeper, the up, it's about to the 18. Oh, it's fumbled. He's back receiving it. Minis are down there. Oh, they missed one tackle. They missed two tackles. And then they, somebody jumped on top of it. That's number 15 and number 13. So that was Nick Greer and Caleb Wormuth with the tackle. And the Panthers will start first and 10. Ball at the 17 yard line. 83 yards to pay dirt. 4.16 to go. Emmett Collins out here to the wide, to the near side of the field in coverage with number two, Israel De Jesus. It's a run up the middle. Oh, he gets through. He gets past one tackler. Gets over the 20, over the 25, to about the 27 yard line. He'll be short by a yard or two. Meisner with the quarterback keeper. Defense is getting their signals from the sideline. They've got four down linemen, four linebackers, and three defensive backs now. They're putting them out on an island and making them uh, cover. So trips to the left, straight up the middle run. Minis converge, not before he gets the first down, it appears. They're trying to strip that football, and they do not. So again, it's Meisner, who might be hurt, or does he just need to help up? Number 10, Meisner is helped up from the turf, and he marches back. Immediately, the Panthers come to the line of scrimmage, 325 and counting on the clock. Minis got to get out there in coverage, and we got another do we have a false start? So Drake at sideline is indicating false start. The officials are getting together, so it's not clear to them what occurred. History would say it's Drake at offsides. And they're, they're still discussing it. It'll be another bad mistake if the meters are called for this penalty. False start, and that's the, I think that's the first false start on the Panthers all evening. Meters fans are ecstatic that something actually went for their team and not against their team in the penalty phase of this game. So ball is moved back inside the 25 to the about the 24. Maybe just outside the 23. It's in between the hash, the yard, yardage, yard lines. And they spread the middies out. Two wide receivers, trips left, two right. So five out in the pattern, six in tight. 
Meisner back to pass. He's looking, he's throwing down the left side of the field here. Oh, inner, incomplete, number five, Emmett Collins with the deflection. Pass was to number 11, Luke Zavasky. Nice play minis, double coverage there. They converged when they saw the ball in the air. There is a flag on the play. Uh-oh, we have a flag on the play. An ineligible man downfield. And just as a reminder, folks, as they march off that penalty, which I believe is five yards, Dragon Access Television will be back with live coverage of Dragon Mini's football on Friday, September 30th at 7 p.m. when the Billerica Indians enter Beaudry Field looking for an, looking to win against your marching middies. So ball is back inside the 20 to the 19 yard line. First and 20. Twins out to the right hand side here. Middies have to get somebody out here. They've spread the field offset back right. And we have a, oh, swing pass. Oh, nice illusion of tackle. He gets back almost to the original line of scrimmage, just outside the 25, 26 yard line. He needed to get to the 29, which is with the original line of scrimmage. Looks to be the 27 yard line, so it's third and 12 for the second, yeah, third and 12. Scoreboard is wrong, I believe. No, nope, maybe that's the second down over there. Yeah, first and 20, second and 16. Oh. And something hit the ground on the Pentucket sideline. I think a coach is not happy with the communication. So we have a timeout here with uh, 2.14 to go in the ball game. Middies up 18-14, seeking their first regular season win of the season. They did have a win in the preseason over Somerville, I believe. Drake Access Television here on Channel 22 is happy to have you watching us. Whether it's by Channel 22 on Drake Access Television's YouTube channel or drakeaccesstv.org. Again, the next game for the Middies will be away, but we'll be back with you on Friday, September 30th as the Billerica Indians invade Beaudry Field in an NBC conference, large school, small school matchup. So we got trips left again, two to the right. He rolls out right, he's gonna throw to his power side. Oh, what was Emmett Collins in coverage? He gave him too much of a cushion. And we have a first down, Pentucket. 2.06 to go, so that was a quick play. Maybe you have to be aware of the fact that Pentucket is going quick. They got trips left, single wide right. They spiked the ball to stop the clock with 156, 157 and counting. Bear in mind, the official time in this game is kept on the field and not by the clock operator. And I'm corrected by the gentleman in the stripes standing on the other side of the soundboard for me. He is keeping the school board clock, so we are official at 156. And down. Trips to the left, single wide right. And we have a whistle and probably a false start. Second false start of the drive for the Pentucket in Panthers. Middy side gets a little bit louder. And so backed up to the 37 yard line, the Panthers are looking at a second and 15. Need to get across the 50 to the 48. Maybe the 48 and a quarter. Come on, Manny! Let's go, Manny! 
shotgun for Pentucket. Meister back, single offset, 21 behind him. Johnny Nagoy, oh, he doesn't, the receiver goes back, back again. Oh, he's out of bounds, I think. No, they're gonna give him the catch. First down, Panthers. Nice catch and nice toe tap. That really should not have been caught. Minis were had coverage there. I think it's Emmett Collins who didn't get tight enough. So, ball's at the 40 yard line. First and 10, 147 to go on the clock, which is stopped on the out of bounds play. Trips to the left, single, two wide uh, receivers to the right. Middies should look for the run. They've done that, and we have a timeout middies with 147 to go in the fourth quarter with a four point lead. Just a reminder, you're watching Drake and Access Television, Channel 22, where the Drake and Middies take on the Pentucket Panthers. We're proud to broadcast this on DrakeAccessTV.org, Channel 22, and Drake and Access Television's YouTube channel. W, correction, it's www. DrakeTV.org. Ladies are lining up. They're ready. They're in the up, standing up on the line. Looks like to me they're going to have four down linemen. Number 51, Manny Farley. Number 77, a player to be named later. Looks like number 50. Okay. Trips to the left, six, two to the right. Nobody other than the quarterback in the back. He throws wide to number 21. Emmett Collins pushes him out of, down, out of bounds at about the 36 yard line, it looks like. Nope, that's number six. So that's Robert Truong over here in coverage on the near side. Middies will be happy to give him that, but they much prefer to tackle him inbounds and keep that clock running. Drake has two timeouts. Pentucket has two timeouts remaining. So it's second and six, balls at the 41 yard line, a 36 yard line, correction. And they go back to the trips. This time it looks like Emmett Collins is on the wide, uh, the short side here in coverage. He's off about eight, nine yards. Afraid to get beat on that play, change of clock. Quarterback looks at his uh, play sheet on his wrist. Calls, gets the snap. He looks back, he pumps, he throws down there, and it's overthrown to number 11, Luke Zavasky. So they've run five seconds off the clock now, third and six for the Pentucket Panthers. Fans are on the edge of their seats on both sides, waiting to see what happens. Middies looking for their first one of the season, as are the Panthers. Panthers, uh, once again, Come lost on, to Wolf, uh, Watertown last week. Well, the Middies got trounced by the Gray Ghosts of Westford Academy. Single back set behind Meisner. Offset left now. He rolls out to the left. He goes to throw. Could have a hold there. They're going to give him the first down. And some more. And that's a 20. They takes it down to the 20. We apologize for any side noise that you might hear. There's not much we can do about that as we do have a boom mic over here that can pick up the fans. So ball is at the 21 yard line, first and 10, 130 to go in the fourth quarter. Middies up by four, Pentucket driving. And they're gonna play soft again. The defensive backs are five, eight yards off the line of scrimmage, don't wanna get it behind them. 
Mady's in pursuit. Throw by Meisner out to the flat to number 20. And he's taken down by number 15 of the middies, Nick Greer. Nice tackle by Greer in the open field. But it looks to be second and about two with 112 in counting on the clock. And they spike the ball. Meisner spikes the ball. So it'll be third down and two. With 107 to go in the fourth quarter. So the Panthers keep their, their two timeouts and instead take the down. We'll see how uh, advantageous that is. Middies are staying out there as Meister goes to the sideline to get his call. Has 13 yards to pay dirt and a lead. Can the Middies stop him? Middies, Middies uh, have trips to the Panthers trips left. We got two out defending that. He better get, Middies better get some pressure really quick. Oh, nice hit up the middle by the Middies. Who was that? Looks to be number two, Israel De Jesus. Gain of one, they needed two. It's fourth and one, and we have a timeout, Panthers. Jermaine McKenzie pulls his team over to the 20 yard line. Standing on the numbers, he's given instructions with his defensive coordinator. Middies have to stop Pentucket now. They could, Pentucket could get the first down and belabor their point and make the Middies take it all the way down to the end of the game fighting to, to keep them out of the end zone. A field goal will do the Panthers no good. A touchdown wins it. A touchdown at PAT gives them a three point lead, but the middies have shown they're not capable of kicking just yet this season. So we get an offset, twins right and left, man in motion. He stops at the end of the line. Middies almost jump. They're trying to wait them out. They're trying to get them to jump. Middies have to stay steadfast and don't jump. And a handoff is number 21. He stopped. He stopped. The Middies are dragging him back. And the Middies make a defensive stand and should win this ball game. 45 seconds on the clock. And the Middies make the defensive stand of the game and hold an 18 14 lead, taking over at their. 21 yard line. Nice play, Middies. And I believe that's Andre Boras with the, with the hit. He's getting chest bumps from his team, teammates, and his coaching staff. There are some happy Middies over there. Manny Farley's getting a lot of kudos as well. So he stocked up that line and put the uh, Panthers quarterback under some pressure. Panthers are going to have to be aggressive. Panthers have one timeout, Middies have two. Again, 45 seconds on the clock. Middies are just going to uh, kneel down, force the Panthers to take a timeout, which I believe they will. 36 seconds on the clock, they take the timeout. Middies have to take one more successful snap and they'll win the game. Once again, we will return to live action on September 30th when the Drake and Minis host the Billerica Indians here at Beaudry Field in a Merrimack Valley Conference showdown. On 
Channel 22, DragonTV.org, or DragonTV.org, YouTube. Middies in a tight formation over the center, and there's the kneel down, and that's the game, I believe. Panthers have no more timeouts. Minis are going to jog down the other end of the field. It's, yep, and number 50. Jules Cabrera Gonzalez has the ball, throws it to the sidelines, and the Minis march back to midfield with a swagger. So your final score here at Beaudry Field is Drake at 18. And tuck it 14. The Minis with their first win of the 2022 Merrimack Valley Conference schedule. Congratulations to both teams. Good luck to both teams. And we're signing off from Beaudry Field here at Drake and High School on Channel 22. See you in two weeks.